We Live in Time is a new romance movie directed by John Crowley and the latest addition to the Andrew Garfield in Bathtub cinematic universe. This movie was somehow worse than I hoped it would be, but better than I expected it to be, if that makes any sense. It tells the story of a couple who fall in love and then one of them is diagnosed with cancer. It's not a spoiler, it's in the trailer and it's made clear at the beginning of the movie. The film has a non-linear narrative, but the structure didn't work for me. It felt like all the scenes from the movie were shot and then no one put them in order. It just feels like a random series series of vignettes. But the most peculiar thing is that I didn't like the non-linear narrative, but I think a linear narrative would have made the movie worse. It just needed a stronger sense of structure. I feel like John Crowley was trying to say something about time by having the movie weave in and out of these characters' lives at all these different moments, because that's kind of how our memories work. But the random order of the scenes really detracted from the film's emotional moments. But I liked We Live in Time because of Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh. I think Florence Pugh's character is given a lot more to do, so her performance is the best in the film, but Andrew Garfield did his best with what he was given and their chemistry makes the movie so much more enjoyable. It's also a lot funnier than I expected it to be, and I like that John Crowley was willing to throw in so much humor to balance out the bleak elements of the story. Overall, I think you can tell whether or not you'll enjoy this movie from the trailer. If you watch the trailer and think the movie looks good and would be happy to watch more scenes with these characters in a completely random order, you'll probably enjoy it. If you watch the trailer and think the movie looks bad, then you should probably avoid it.